In this video, I'll be showing you how to verify why your device shut down giving you a blue screen using Event Viewer. So let's say you're working on your device and at one specific moment you receive a blue screen of death. That's a BSOD blue screen with different code and your device now restarts. So let me show you how to actually verify what went wrong using Event Viewer. So you want to go to your start menu and then search for events here you can see we have the event viewer so you want to right click and start as administrator or you can just run as administrator so when you do that you, you you'll be opening event viewer as an administrator because if you don't open event viewer as an administrator sometimes you may not have the privilege to be able to see all the required information so you want to go to directly to under windows logs go to system and in system you can see all the information everything you do on your device is being registered and for example all the updates everything on your device if you print a specific document all is being registered in event viewer so right now we want to check for error message you can actually filter for example i can filter the current log to actually check for only error message but at the same time if i just scroll down you want to also know the dates when that error appears for example today is the 29th and i knew i knew that on the 20th of this month my device shut down giving me a blue screen so here you can see we have for example on the 20th i can see that i have a bug check that is you can see the computer has report, reported from a bug check and the bug check was here we go here you can see that's the number you can actually check copy this number just right click or you can do ctrl c copy and then put it on the internet here you can see the other numbers as well you can try check for these specific numbers as well to see if you can find any information on the internet and you can see that the dump file was actually created on the windows that's the memory uh, memory.dmp so if i go to my windows device you can see that's actually a large file so in my previous video i actually showed you show you how to create smaller files instead of this large file with almost 5 462 megabytes almost 500 mb so by doing this now you can actually also, also also check sometimes you may get a clue of what happens apart from being getting this bug check sometimes you may have a situation whereby your device does not create a bug check. I, I saw it at my workplace whereby your device does not create the dumb file. So it's going to tell you what happened before the error message was received. Then it's going to tell you, for example, here you can see we receive a warning. The time service, the NTP, the NTP client was unable to set the domain. So this is actually not the reason why this device went, but it's actually a bug check. You can see a DNS client event also failed. The system failed to register the host a resource record for network adapter so sometimes you can get a clue of what happened before the error message happens so this is how you use event via to actually verify what went wrong when your device went on the blue screen 